On a serious matter, if you are a victim of assault in any form, I highly recommend you to not watch this anime just because of the subject matter in the show. It gets very gruesome and yeah, just please do not watch it or at least watch it with that in mind. Like everything that happened in episode two, it was like, woo, episode two. And then it's like, oh, yeah, nah. Episode one was kind of like, okay, this is a little ridiculous. And episode two was like, ha, episode one. Like, here's more, just, ugh. And it is a show, but some of the comments in the last video were a little concerning. And it's not like I haven't seen a movie that kind of has the same concept of this show. If you've seen the movie, I Spit on Your Grave. The main character is a woman, and in short, I believe she's a writer. Anyway, she goes to this cabin, she's assaulted by these men, and the plot of the movie is she gets revenge on them. I found myself rooting for her the entire way. And I saw a comment that was like, oh, you're a girl, you're not cheering for him, that's why. But I don't really know because I don't really like the princess. I didn't like her character. I didn't find myself liking any of the characters in this show. And I can't believe I am still going to watch this show. <laughs> I get that Kiaru was abused. Maybe it was because we saw him after everything happened and we did go back, but we already kind of saw him as this horrible person due to everything that happened. I don't think I'm gonna cheer for anyone to be honest. And what was Flair? I think he changed her name to Flair, the girl, pink hair. And just that in itself was really messed up. And the fact that she's tagging along with him is just like, oh my gosh. Oh man. But a lot of comments on my videos were like, are you gonna do more? So I'm like, okay, I'll try more. The first two episodes didn't really like it. So we'll have to see. Episode three, you know, to be honest, you guys, I don't see myself really ever liking this show, but I think it's like the shock value because, oh my gosh, the last episode, the maid was like silly shock value. And then episode two was like, Oh, gross. I hated that so much. But anyways, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my patrons, King of the Pirates and above tier. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, not only on Patreon, but also on YouTube. When you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it truly means the world to me. Again, a huge thank you to you guys. You guys are amazing sparkles. Okay, so time to get into this reaction. I am going to watch episode three and we're just going to see what's going to happen. Oh. Can we get like a chill episode? I'm hoping, hoping. Anyways, without further ado, let's go. Redo healer. Poom. Freya no hair kara mochi dashita hoseki ya kinka de tabi no shitaku o tozonoita ore to Freya wa mi no anzen na kunari. Oh, Freya. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, duh. They like, well he faked. Yeah. Oh gosh. That got so dramatic. Oh, jeez. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, this seems like it's going to actually be like a little adventure. Didn't he, like, get what he wanted, though? So can't he just be a peaceful person? <laughs> oh, great. I don't even like the title already. Jeez. Everyone in this show is so horrible. <laughs> now we're probably gonna see them be bad to him. Oh no, no. What is going on here? Hey, yay, yay. I thought we were over this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> Why would you like do that though? Because aren't those drugs addictive? And I feel like you're kind of putting it in your system that way. 
Ew. Oh my gosh, that's actually disgusting. I fucking... Uh, I hate this! Why? Ew! What the heck did I just see? Oh my gosh, why? Why? They like showed her insides. I'm pretty sure that's what I just saw. What the fuck? I, this is so stupid. I don't know how just shocking this is, but I was told that the writer for this show is actually a woman. Like... She must have some twisted fantasies. I'm sorry, but this is just like, ugh, questionable. What the heck? Why? I feel like this show could potentially be interesting if they took out all of the borderline hentai stuff. Like, it's just so stupid and it just doesn't fit. I mean, this could be someone's cup of tea, but it just feels so random. It's like when you're watching a horror movie and the girl just like decides to take off her clothes and then like the guy, the monster comes in and she's like running naked. It's like, why? It's so dumb. Like random things like that just don't make sense. And I guess it's like fan service, but it's just like, I just think it's so dumb. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wow. Whoa. The sound effects for that, though. How does it still work after all of that, though? Oh my gosh. What is happening? No. No. Oh. Oh my gosh. Why? Can people even bend like that? Okay. Seriously, though, how do you, like, bend over like that? Oh, gosh. Here we go. It's like... Uh, this is like any case scenario, though. It's like, how dare you defile her even though she, like, forced you to do it. What the heck? Oh my gosh, what the heck? This is... Mm. Oh, what now? It's like, what is he... Where is he trying to go? And something else? Why? Oh my gosh, why? Oh my gosh, no. I like figured something else was gonna happen. Oh my gosh, no, stop it. <laughs> it just never ends. Is it over? No. Can we go like a minute without nudity, please? He's going to get revenge on that one dude. Oh, roses. I feel like they're gonna be next in this episode. Okay, well, if I'm going to make a prediction, he's gonna... Something with the other guy's revenge is going to have to do with roses, maybe. We are 10 minutes into this episode, and I feel like that was like a good seven minute chunk of just him trying to get somewhere, and then people doing bad things to him, and just... Why? <sighs> How is he gonna find them? I feel like that would mean everything is. I don't 
何かすごく悪いこと考えてませんかケアルガ様そんなことはないさ俺はこの町のみんなを救えることを喜んでいたんだ Okay, dude. I feel like he's going to use that in like a very malicious way later on, though. That was like instant. My gosh. I feel like something's gonna happen. Something has to happen, right? Oh, okay. Okay. He almost thought he was gonna get away with just the coin and not have him be like, hey. Okay, that was pretty normal. That's a good point. That is also a good point. <laughs> Can't we just get someone and just be normal <laughs> for once? They have like different types. Oh my gosh. Are we scanning everyone? But he can heal them. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, jeez. She's about to rip his face off. <laughs> I feel like he can relate to her, though, so. Honestly, they have the same mindset, probably. <laughs> At least he's probably, hopefully, he doesn't hurt her. Or use her for anything. Just let her get her revenge, too. Okay, um... Oh. What? 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 Okay, um, what? Oh, he's saying, okay, so he's saying because he switched with him in that moment that he hurt the princess, so, okay. So then he just ended up being in the old body? From what I've gathered. Anyways, okay. So they're figuring out what exactly happened to the princess. But this subject matter is really weird when you see it in animes. But it seems like, you know, he's not going to use her as a sex slave. I hope not. So it seems like he has an understanding with her at least. So hopefully... Oh my gosh, she's so vicious though. I can just imagine when he's actually going to get revenge. Is he going to let this girl just murder a whole bunch of people? Uh, it's like the beginning part. It wouldn't be so bad, but everything that they threw in at the beginning is just so senseless to me. It's just like, like I get it. We're supposed to see how he was treated in his past to like understand why he's doing what he's doing, but it's just like, I feel like, you know, there's better ways to do that than just like throwing it in your face constantly. It's just like, why? And you don't even want to watch it. 
I'm kind of interested in seeing Kiara's next move. From the end credit scene, it does seem like they are going to catch on. And he is worried about, you know, Freya's sister, Flair's sister, because she's still in the picture. So we'll just have to see how this is all going to play out. Um, that wasn't as bad as episode one. It's still, I don't know if I'm getting just numb to what's happening in this show, but yeah, I'm a little interested to see where it's going to go. <laughs> But anyways, there you guys go. That was my reaction to Redo of Healer episode three. I cannot believe, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, I can't believe I'm watching this. But we're going to have to see what's going to happen in episode four. I don't know. Make sure to subscribe for more anime content. And I hope you guys have a great day. Stay fresh. Bye.